The Ministry of Finance has announced that, starting January 1st next year, cram schools that were set up as businesses would revert to paying a 5% business operation tax and mostly give receipts. The news caused discussion as first the new labor law amendment raised personnel costs and now tax must be paid, which has some parents worried that tuitions will rise next year. Many students will go to cram schools when preparing to apply for their educational choices. From next year, cram schools that are established as businesses must revert to paying 5% business tax. Parents are worried that this tax will be passed on to parents in the form of tuition fees. The National Parents Groups Alliance said that cram schools' annual fees for elementary school are 60,000 NT dollars. Middle school students are 70,000 NT dollars, and high school students are around 30. $6,000, a considerable burden. However, currently in Taiwan, the majority of cram schools, 18,000, are registered to an individual. Only 6 or 7 percent are established as companies. Cram school companies said that the labor law amendment had raised their personnel costs by 30 percent, and they did not understand why they had to pay business tax. The government did not discuss anything with them before it made the decision. They feel that they will take on the five percent business tax themselves or pass it on as tuition fees. However, if fees rise too much, it will affect students. So most businesses are observing the situation. The MOF said cram schools established as businesses can be profitable and can also raise funds. So the Ministry of Education suggested removing the exemption. The current announcement that was made is to give the industry a buffer period to respond.